Well, it seems like prices are just going up all over the place, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And if your grocery bill seems to be skyrocketing, you're not alone. On 23ABC is Lauren Titus live outside one of our local grocery stores with a staple in your diet that's also giving you sticker shock. And why? Lauren? Good morning, Mike and Aaron. According to food experts, we eat 270 pounds of meat per person per year. So with prices going up, you may want to rethink your budget. I call it the triple D effect of drought, disease, and demand. When it comes to bringing home the bacon, beef, or even chicken for that matter, prepare to be hit where it hurts in order to foot your carnivorous bill. Your wallet. In the last couple of years, I'd say there's been probably a 20 to 30 percent increase in beef. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, last month retail food prices were the highest they've seen since 2011. Local food distributor Matt Cross says the cost to get your order from the farm to your table has a number of expensive factors. In 2000, a gallon of diesel was $1.39. Now it's well over four. Um, power has gone up. Taxes and especially insurance have skyrocketed. Cross does admit it's natural to see prices fluctuate, but for the long haul, prepare to fork over some more green for your protein. A dollar doesn't buy what it used to. I remember, sadly, 40 years ago, 30 cents to buy a bag of chip and a Coke. Now that same chip and Coke costs $3 or better. Coming up in our next half hour, hear why this time of year is also inching up our meat prices. Back to you.